So concerned about my real life, and that's all right. But who are you? Just another nigga with a strap. It don't take rocket science to shoot. You don't know shit about getting bricks out. You probably still work true for true. You don't know shit about on your blood because you paid your bills with all that loot. How about your baby about to be born and he don't got pampers, wipes, or food? How about your mama fucking your best friend and y'all both just finished school? But it's okay. She thinks it's cool. You're in her way. It's time you move. And you just paid all her damn bills, so you feel like a fool. So what do you suggest I do? You think you know? You got no clue, so please don't tell me what you think I ain't been doing. I don't give a fuck down like me, they don't like me, they don't like me. I say I don't give a fuck down like me, they don't like me. Welcome, 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 welcome to AJ's Den. Mm. Anyway, let's get right on to it. I've been missing <laughs> action. What? since when since friday no i recorded friday uh i've been missing the action i've been doing a lot of things um but i want to talk about the situation that happened in dallas um i really sorry cops you lost your lives five cops lost their lives hate to hear that but on the other hand, they're calling it a massacre. Why is it a massacre when it comes to co- these cops? I just want to know that because uh, and so many African American men and women are dying each day. Now, that's a massacre. People are calling this a massacre. Oh, we should pray for the cops. But nobody is not praying for these African American men and women. I have a problem with this. Just the other day on Saturday after um, Sterling got killed, after Fidel Castle got killed, these young men got killed. Also, a lot of, not, a lot of people are not bringing up Daryl um, Darris also got killed in the custody of a police officer who choked him to death. And nobody haven't brought it up. But guess what? Another young man of uh, African American descent got killed in Houston, Texas on Saturday. Nobody is not saying that. So, why they're not calling that a massacre? How many other African American men and women have to die? This is something that, that, that. So, I'm trying to get and fathom that is it. A cop who's Caucasian descent is more important than any of these African American people who lost their lives because cops who killed them took their life. Why is that not a massacre? These are questions that I, I I'm just seeing, and I love myself, Roland. I love me some Roland. But Roland, why are you calling them, calling this a massacre? Because this young man had a mental problem. Now they want to say he had a mental problem. No, he's tired of your asses killing our people. That's why he did the things that he was doing. They are in, they interviewing people now and they're saying, okay. He had a mental problem, and, and and why do we have to have a mental problem when, I mean, I am civilized, believe it or not. <laughs> I am civilized, and I had enough, too. I have, I mean, when is enough going to be enough for cops are killing, um, killing our people? With enough and getting away with it. The prosecutors are not doing what they're doing. The judges are not doing what they're doing. So now you want me to feel bad because some guy turned around and shot five and killed five cops? You want me to feel bad? I'm not going to feel bad. What about my people who have lost their lives for a century of time all the way up in 2016? Why would I feel bad? You want to call this a massacre 
What about my people who lost their lives in the Black Wall Street? That's a massacre. What about my people who lost their lives in Florida? That is a massacre. What about my people, period, when they start lynching after they set the slave free? That's a massacre. So don't tell me, because these five cops lost their lives, that that's a massacre. Five cops, that's not a massacre. Don't tell me some crap that I'm just going to listen to it, and I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to bleed the height. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna believe the hype. Not at all. Who they're not talking about they want to call this a massacre. Innocent men and women are dying every day by the hands of police officers. Young man in Houston. Let me look him up. His name. Young man in Houston lost his life. And now they're calling it, but that, and that's like, does, do that lead up to five, five black men who was killed? I think, but that's just not, that's just not, that's just not just that day. How many other? Come on now. Let's go here. I want to. I the video. I saw the video, and they're saying that this 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 guy had his hand had a a gun in his hand. No, he did not. I saw the video. He did. He had his hands up. And they shot him cold-blooded. Alva. Uh, no, that's not him. What is his name? It was in Houston, Texas. In Texas, you know, Texas is well-known. That's why I want to go there and make it a blue, a blue state instead of a red state. I'm going to move there. Yes, I am. And I'm going to record, too. His name is Alva uh, Bazil. Uh, B-R-A-Z-I-E-L Police officer said that he was he was actually the video shows he was walking across the street police pulled him and this this video show clearly that he had his hands up clearly Clearly, they pulled him. And they shot him to death. Shot this man to death. Now, you would think they would stop, right? Why would they stop? Because they have help. They have the DOG behind them. They have. They have ev- the prosecutors behind them. So why would they stop? They after all these murders, they still uh, kill somebody still kill another African American but they said this is a massacre they said in Dallas it's a massacre <laughs> they said it was a massacre they put they're pulling up right now he hold his hands right up he turned up turned around get out the way from a car just by bypassing he's holding his head hands up and they shot him to death they shot him Had his hands up. What they were hoping is, they thought that um, they thought that um, I'm look. I'm still looking at a video. They thought that they wasn't being recorded. They had to. They shot that man to death. But it's a massacre when it comes down to um, the police officer. Bitch, please. I don't want to hear that. 
I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain that at all. Like I said, I love you, Roland, but nope. Not gonna call that a massacre. Not in Dallas. Not why my brothers and sisters are being killed every day. Nope. 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 When is enough gonna be enough? You guys, I don't know when is enough gonna be enough, but I have enough of this bull crap. I had enough of you um this going on. My brothers and sisters are being killed each day. Every day. Some of us are just so into other things, worrying about the wrong things. Now, I'm talking to my brothers and sisters now. When are we when are we gonna wake up? When are we when are we gonna wake up? Hmm? When are we gonna wake up and, 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 and fight? When are we gonna sit down and fight and and wake up and start fighting and stop these people from killing our brothers and sisters? When? When are we gonna stop this? Uh, somebody need to answer me. When? When are we gonna stop this? Because this is this is ridiculous. Enough is enough, people. They call this a massacre, so what? Our lives do not matter? They, they, they love saying, I was videotaped. I videotaped and put it on my Facebook. This white, white bitch you know, sit up here and say, yeah, I'm, I'm in this mood today. This white woman going to sit up here and say, um, all lives matter. Why is, all, why is it you saying all lives matter? If all lives matter, you'll, you'll be getting killed just like we are. You're not getting killed like we are. Why all of a sudden you can't stand, you want to be included in something that you have white privileges. You talking about all lives matter. Then she had the audacity to tell the young lady, you need to go back, go back to Africa. That's all you have? Well, when, I, when, you, go back, when you go back to Europe, because this is not your country. When you guys go back to Europe, and we'll be glad to go back to Africa. I have no problem with that. But when you carry your behind back to um, Europe, then you go back to Africa. Then the Native Americans can have their land back because this is not your land. I was looking at that and I'm like, are you serious? And then we become apes. So this is, this is just constantly going on. It's showing. It's showing how they see us. But we are not apes or nothing like that. Baboons, when it comes down to their dying, they need our organs. That's why I won't donate no organs. They ask me that all the time at the um, license place. I say, no. Nope. Not donate nothing. Because I don't, I don't want my, my ape organs to get in no white person and save no white person lives so they can keep that white privilege up. Nope. Sure it won't. Sure it won't. Don't care how you feel. Don't care. That's how I feel. Simple as that. Enough is enough. We always have to be nice. We always have to be um, good. We always have to be sweet. We always have to be that. Now, that that's coming to an end, honey. I'm I, I'm to the point that nope, not gonna be nice. Not gonna not gonna be none of that. Kick rocks. I want to play this video of this uh, female. What she said, go back to Africa. We are apes and stuff like that. And this is how they think of us. That's why they shoot us. They shoot us like and and you know what? They treat animals better than they treat us. But they shoot us like we're animals. I, I don't know where they get this attitude from that we're animals. We're their pet. It seemed like they really consider us like we're their pet. I want y'all to hear this. They was in a bar. And this is San Antonio. Texas again. And this young lady went over to her mother and told her mother. She's only 15 years old. And. Yeah, I told the lady to be respectful. This is what she was. And she started going off on me. And my husband started going off. 
She just got to telling her mother they was being disrespectful. I don't know where these Caucasian think they're gonna get at if they think Jebica, this is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, this is just crazy. Yeah, it's right here. You're here. She's walking up to him now with her mother. Hi. So Facebook, this is what racist people look like. Being disrespectful for no reason. Hi, Matter. They want their lives matter now. They do. They don't want we to have anything. Right now, they just they're continuing to fight, and I hope that her um her um um her boss see this and his boss see this and get rid of them. Um, <clears throat> It kills me that they love trying to include their self into something that have nothing to do with them. This is this is like the craziest thing that since Black Lives Matter came out, they they're like all lives matter. Your lives been mattering. Why all of a sudden now that all lives matter? I don't understand that. They have, the society have recognized you for the longest. Why are you including yourself in this? I, I, I'm trying to understand why will anybody include this in, why would they include themselves in this? Why? That I cannot understand why. Why would they include themselves in this? Everybody want to sit up here and say all lives matter now, but it's still not mattering. You're not getting shot down every day. You're not getting pulled up because you're in a in the wrong neighborhood. They may say because of the color of your skin. Hmm. But all lives matter. That's crazy. Really crazy. Really crazy. I just want to play that. This is how Caucasian white Americans see us. They see us as animals. You can sit up here and protect them and say they are your friends. And me and my brother was talking. And I'm not saying all Caucasians are like that. But most Caucasians are. And that's how they see us. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you, I said not all, but most. But the other side of the sum that I'm not saying that they're racist, if it ever interfere with them on their money or their lives or just they're not getting their white privileges, them Caucasians will turn on you. So at the end of the day, it's all Caucasians. I'm... I don't want to say all, but I know at the end of the day, if it start hurting them, it will be all. They will turn on you and, and give them a chance. Give them a chance. Take something away from them and they will turn on you. <clears throat> I'm just at the point now. That it's crazy. It's insane. 
how they can continue to sit up here and say, oh, it's a massacre, oh, we shouldn't worry about um, changes, or we, we are going through this, we're going to work with you, we're going to do this, but nobody haven't been prosecuted. The only person that I know have been prosecuted is the cop that lied and said that he asked this young man to get his license and registration, and it was in North Carolina, and um, the guy turned around and got his registration, tried to get his registration, and um, he just um, shot him. Fortunately, he didn't get he he didn't die. He sued them, but at the end of the day. Tch, Um, I was watching something. I'm sorry. I paused. At the at the end of the day, this stuff is still going on. I I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell you, people. I am so tired of it. I am. I had enough of it, and I'm so I'm very civilized. I just had enough of this, and all the. Uh, I it's, I just I don't even know what to say because. This haven't stopped. Even after all these murder um, weeks ago last, cops still turned around and kill Ava Brazil. Brazil. Still killed them. Reason why, and I tell everybody, the reason why they're doing this is because they're getting away with it. Prosecutors and the judges and the DOG is allowing it, and they're not doing anything. And I saw something that amazed me. Um, and I'm going to give the explanation on this. I saw um, a white person, and I saw a statement they, on Facebook that said, it has been more murder um, of African Americans since Obama been in office than anything. Now I'm gonna tell you something. Why is that? Because they're pissed off because it was an African American who was voted in twice, and they're gonna have to take care of for the rest of his life. Um, that that's basically what it is. African American um, who was voted in twice, they couldn't stand. I know Caucasians voted for him as well because he couldn't get enough just for with us and Hispanics. But he was voted in twice, and they they're outraged about that. They're not saying it. They're saying it a little bit now when they're running with Trump, and it's a scary. It's it's so scary. And when I think about even mention that guy name, that people killing these cops killing is because of that. They have no respect um, towards African Americans. They will not have any respect towards African Americans. Is because um, they are they have people to back them up. Now I'm gonna always say that. Um, as for, I really want to talk about um, Chicago as well. Chicago is a fine example because they cannot continue to do and abuse African Americans and take them in that hiding place that they were taking them. They stopped being police officers. So I would like to um, shout out to the police officers in Chicago and say this. Take your damn uniforms off. Don't collect no paycheck from taxpayers there. Don't at all. If you cannot help them, take it off. Just because you cannot take somebody in a hiding place and beat the crap out of them, that wasn't your job anyway. Your job is to protect and serve, not to abuse your authority. So, so far, you have abused your authority, and now you're pissed. Now you're pissed off. So you don't want to protect and serve. And you're allowing people to do what they want to do. Because you can't do what you want to do. So take the uniform off. I am not going to. I'm glad I'm not in um, um, Chicago. Because I protest you. 
I would go there and say, take your uniform off. You don't have to protect. You allowing things like this happening? Get out. Retire. Resign. Go. Bye. Don't be collecting money for my point because you're not protecting and serving us. You better be glad I'm not there. And where are these Michael Jordans and Oprah Winfrey's at? Standing up. I haven't heard them say nothing yet. But everybody, every African American sit around here and uh, spend money and watch things of them. And no, and they're not calling. They're nowhere to be found. You can't find them nowhere. Where are these entertainers at? They're not speaking up. They're not starting any protest. They're not calling for a boycott. Where is that at? I'm calling for a boycott. Stop going to these stores. Stop going to these stores and supporting these stores. Because some of these stores are supporting these white supremacists. You'll be surprised, but they are taking your dollar every day. They're taking your dollars. But they see us as gorillas, animals. I guess they would. Three-fifths of a person. I want to play a video of this police officer, this chief in Dallas, and talk about the five officers. And I am going to comment on that. Because let me tell you something. We don't ask the cops to do nothing but do their damn job. That's what we ask from them. And not kill us as African Americans or people of color. So when he stood up there, this police chief stood up there and said that people are asking cops to do too much. No, be asking you to do one thing and one thing only. To protect and serve, not to kill. So, other than that, what are you talking about? We're, we don't ask you to do a damn thing. In my father language, a damn thing. So, I'm trying to get this video up now so it can play so you can listen to what he had to say. <laughs> I believe that, that I'm able to stand here and discuss this with you is uh, a testament to Chief God's grace David Brown and his sweet Police tender mercies. Just to be quite honest with you. Dallas Police uh, Because uh, what we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish here is above challenging. It, it is, we're asking cops to do too much in this country. We are, we're just asking us to do too much. Every societal failure we put it off on the cops to solve. Not enough mental health funding. Let the cops handle it. Not Lies. enough drug addiction funding. Let's give it to the cops. Lies. Here in Dallas, we got a loose dog problem. Let's have the cops chase loose dogs. That's your job. It, it, you know, schools fail. Give it to the cops. Lies. Um, Seventy percent of the African American community is being raised by single women. Let's give it to the cops. Lies. To solve that as well. That's too much to ask. Policing was never meant to solve all those problems. And I just ask for other parts of our democracy, along with the free press, to help us. <coughs> to help us uh, and not put that burden all on law enforcement to resolve. And we are not asking nothing from this officer. We asking them to just protect and serve us, not kill us. That's all they're doing is killing us. That's all they're doing. So, other than that, this is bullcrap. Talking about we are asking them to do too much. We're asking you to protect and serve. That's it. That's all we want you to do. Protect and serve. We are not asking you to do no more than that. So, when you sit up there, when you sit up there and say, uh, 
you're asking for too much. We're not. We're asking you to protect and serve, not kill us. That's what I can't understand. It's like, it's hard for them to go uh, understand. I also want to play a young man who goes off on the game and um, Snoop Dogg. Y'all know that I'm not um, Snoop Dogg favorite. Not, not at all. Nope. Not at all. There's a reason behind that. Once he starts saying, let's talk about what we accomplished. What we accomplished, Nuki? Still haven't got that answer yet. Still haven't. Not at all, Snooky. We haven't accomplished a doggone thing. We still getting lynched, but we getting gunned down, not by a rope. I mean, for real. So, Does it make any simple. sense that an artist who preaches gun violence and gang banging in every album he drops to be doing a peaceful protest? Nigga, you're the fucking problem. You're part of the fucking problem, Snoop Dogg and gang. These records y'all putting out, these neighborhoods you banging every chance you get, Snoop can't go two days without throwing up rolling 20s. You idiots. You guys are part of the problems because of the message you're sending in your music. So don't give me no fucking peaceful protest in downtown LA because you want some attention. Nigga, pull up to the neighborhood 20s. The, the problem that you infatuated and, and just perpetuate by your music <clears throat> or game, go back over there on Cedar and have a, a peaceful protest. Nigga, you want to do all this because the police is shooting somebody. Niggas is getting shot every day. A four-year-old just got murked on my street, nigga, two days ago. I'm sure you've seen it on the news. I didn't see no motherfucking protest because another black man did it. See that? Okay. So I want to go also into this shooting because this is going to be my last one. The shooting in um, Baldwin. I recorded on Facebook regarding the situation of the shooter in Baldwin. I work in Baldwin all the time. And um I know that is true about the Baldwin shooting. So they're putting on here the helpless they're putting on here, helpless Missouri cop shot in the neck in an ambush identified. First of all, it wasn't an ambush. They lied. Um, this Baldwin cop pulled this young man over. I talked to his cousin, who, by the way, his cousin is a cop. <clears throat> and this white cop pulled this African-American man over and ask him what is this black ass doing in Baldwin, Missouri yep that's what he said it wasn't an ambush ambush takes two people ambush or, or one person and several it, it, it takes several people it was one on one he, when he approached him, he's not innocent. This cop is not innocent. It's not going to come out. Um, they're going to lie about the situation. The cop pulled him out of his car because this young man didn't know what this cop was going to do. He could have killed him and got away with it. He's every, every white cop getting away with murdering um, African Americans. So he pulled him out of the car and they tussled. And um, the guy pulled his gun out and shot him and left, ran away. Fortunately, they didn't kill him, but he tried to get the heck away from them. So this cop is a fucking liar. But nobody is not saying anything about it. And I'm going to keep on broadcasting. They want to say that he's an innocent, helpless Missouri cop. He got shot in, um, got shot in the neck. That is a freaking lie, people. I'm going to broadcast this on uh, Facebook. Because this is straight up a lie. A suburban of St. Louis police officer who was shot critically injured during a traffic stop has been identified as nine years law enforcement vet known as his sense of humor and professionalism. The Baldwin Police Department released a statement let let. Late Saturday, saying that the officer Mike Flanham 
joined the force in 2014. See, they what they 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 just go down the line of making him look so good, like he's the best officer. But when it when if we as African American got shot by a cop, they go and look up our record, like they couldn't find that in Fordell. So they go and look up our record, see if he have a record, see if we have a record, and broadcast. Oh, they used to do this. Oh, they used to do that. Oh, they, but when it come down to a white person, because you know it's the difference, because what happened with the gorilla incidents and the alligator incident? They kept it going for for weeks. On the gorilla incidents, and brought up that young lady, um, baby daddy, record. Brought up his record, and he wasn't even there. He wasn't even there. They brought his record up, but let's go to the alligator. The alligator incident, they ain't do the damn thing about it. They didn't call for the prosecutor because they did it for the um, uh, gorilla incident. They tried to get her prosecuted. They they cried. We going we need you to prosecute and prosecutor said no, I'm not gonna prosecute her. But they didn't do that with the alligator incident. But they wasn't even watching their kids. She was watching four other kids. That child snuck off. See? You see the difference? The white and black system. The white and black justice. They tried to make him out of. Oh he's innocent. Oh he's that. But this. This Caucasian. Put that African American over. And said. Why your black ass is in ball. And I know it's true. Because they're the most racist people in Baldwin it is. And I know it's true. And he pulled him out. He pulled him out of the car. He had no reason to pull him over. No reason. So they want to call him innocent. Helpless. Why is it that a white person is helpless when they come down to doing the things that they do? They're helpless if they get shot. Oh, it's a massacre if they get shot. But when it comes down to my people, it's we're hooligans, we're thugs. They, it's not a massacre. We are not helpless, they say. I'm tired of being tired. I am tired of being tired. This is what KMOV TV said. That's a lie. They said the officer was walking back to his car to press process paperwork that's a lot of people stop believing the hype with these news people that's a lie you're a freaking lie they're a part of cbs he was not walking back to his car he was pulling that young man out of his car <clears throat> That's a lie. That they saying that he did a routine. He was going to process the paper, and while the officer turned around, the suspect advanced quickly and fired. Why would he do that? He didn't do that. He's lying. You lying suck of shit. You lying suck of shit. And uh, and a white person told this lie. They know what's going on. Told the lie. (laughs) 
See what they did put. Listen, listen. Teller is the shooter, right? So they said Teller was on probation for weapons violation in St. Louis. He also has been on probation for a stolen vehicle in Oklahoma and was picked up on a gun charge in California during a prison term of being a felon in process possession of a firearm he was was paroled in march 2015 now brought his record up brought his record up brought his record up (sighs) oh Just kills me. Brought his record up. But they try to make him out of an innocent person. Now if you read these things, you would think that they're telling the truth. The news media is along with these Caucasians. They're going to lie. They're going to put stories in. They're totally going to lie. Make him look innocent. Like That's why they started off helpless this kills me do you white people really think that y'all helpless do you really think that so if we're that big and bad that's how much you think of us then we really need to step up the game if y'all think that we're big and bad and you were so afraid and you had to create a law that stand your ground so you can kill us, then we need to step our game and start taking our power. Because we know we have power. I know I have power. It's just we need to wake up and smell it. I, I'm 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 out of here. Cause I'm getting frustrated. Because you guys constantly sitting up here making yourself look innocent. Like, like it's okay. It's not okay. Enough is enough. I am getting so sick and tired of. I'm just, I'm I'm getting tired. I am getting so sick and tired of this. That it's like, we are so close to the edge right now. We are so close to the edge. It's like, you guys think that it's okay. I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. It's getting to a point that it's breaking us. It really is. We really need to come back and, and, and work together because it it's. I I mean, I'm lost for words. I am so lost for words. And it's... I don't even know what... What's to say anymore. I am just like... To the point of... Lie on my face all day long... Keep doing what you're doing and think it's all right. It's not. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Broken glass. 
ass everywhere People pissing on the stage, you know they just don't care I can't take the smell, can't take the noise Got no money to move on, I guess I got no choice Rats in the front room, roaches in the back Junkies in the alley with the baseball bat I tried to get away, but I couldn't get far Cause a man with the touch of repossessed my car Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge I'm trying not to lose my head <laughs> It's like a trouble sometimes It makes me wonder how I keep from going under Standing on the front stoop Hanging out the window Watching all the cars go by Roaring as the pieces blow Crazy lady living in a bag Eating out of garbage bills Used to be a fag hag Such a that's the tangle Skip the life and dangle A certain on print to seem to lost her senses Down at the peep show Watching all the creeps So she can tell the stories to the girl